Hey everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls Covenant of Champions run. Wicked here. Um, this is going to be a really short run through, so don't have a lot of time before we got to go take care of some stuff. But um, at least instead of it being completely worthless upload, uh, at least we are going to do a little bit of inf informative stuff here. Uh, show you real quick what I leveled up when I uh, got off of filming last night. I uh, went ahead and moved strength up to 20. I think that was all I did. Um, I don't remember if Eager and Endurance were, were already 10. But anyways, we're level 34 now, so we can use the Craftsman's Hammer. And um, that exponentially increased our damage output. It's one of the best single uh, hand weapons in the game. And uh, on top of already being extremely light, so we can use it without a whole lot of investment. But um, I think we're just going to do the uh, Dragon Rider boss and then the little transitional area to get to the no man's wharf looks like yes this has already been touched again by my kiddo and uh, that'll be about it for for this run but um at least we'll get this out of the way yeah see the craftsman's hammer is absolutely ridiculified oh i got hit what do you know ahead and chug here just in case and good night not too shabby almost ran off into the abyss which would have been terrible Get the bot oh it's like the bonfire's not even here. Here's that. Chat her up real quick. Um, oh, I don't want to buy any of this crap. I just want to talk. Okay. Now she'll move. Let's head on down. The Wharfman's Town. Um, hello, I'm holding circle. Let go. <laughs> oh, the damage on this. Of course, I know those are um, weak to strike enemies. However, the damage on this guy is just stupid. We can also one-hand it whenever we need with certain enemies and uh, utilize our shield and parry. And then get the... Um, let me show you something else that's really crazy about this thing. It still has a 130 critical multiplier, so um, it has an insane amount of damage output. It's just a ridiculously OP weapon. Like this. And apologize, my cat is crying for no reason. Sublime Bone Dust. Now we'll have plus one SS flasks when we make it back to Majula next time. And I, I don't know, I may be overleveled for this part of the game. Uh, probably, well, actually, I kind of know I am because I never get to level 34 at this point of the game. But I wanted to do the Craftsman's Hammer just because of how dauntingly we have stack the cards up against ourselves here, but um, I think aside from that, aside from having to put quite a few levels into the character to get here, and then we won't need to put a whole bunch going forward for a while, I think we're, we're really off to a really good start. That first, uh, first little bit was, was really by far the hardest bit. Get us another uh, Estus Shard here. And we, we will dump just a few more levels right as we hit No Man's Wharf. I want to have 10 Intelligence. Which I think we have, we have what, 6? 
Yeah, so we're going to put four more levels in because I want to be able to put magic weapon on this thing. Because there are quite a few enemies that are weak to magic weapon. And uh, it just... Damage output. It's really broken to be absolutely honest, but... Then we're going to lay off of leveling up. Mimic. That'd be terrible. This one may actually be a Mimic in New Game Plus. I don't recall. It's been so long since I played New Game Plus. Um, before people say that I cheat, I actually have one that's completely beaten New Game Plus at level 12 Beaver, so... There's that. Alright, well other than dumping those four levels into intelligence, uh, that is going to do it for this episode. It was extremely brief, but uh, maybe sometimes you like a little bit of uh, splitting up for the hour-long episodes to something that's a little bit easier to swallow. And um, when we return, we will be fighting our way through No Man's Wharf, which um, still, even after beating the game several times, can be an extremely difficult run. Especially the Covenant of Champions. But um, that's what we'll do next. And uh, once we get through there, we'll be doing the Lost Bastille. Hopefully uh, we'll do well enough and won't die. And we'll be able to do both of those in the same video. One, two, three, four. Hey, look at there. we still got stuff to spare. And um, I think that's what we're going to do. So, I appreciate everybody staying with me. I'm going to see if I have any upgrade potential with my weapons or gear. Otherwise, I'm not going to touch anything else. So I uh, appreciate everybody, and I will see you on the other side.